Many of us enjoy going to the bank and getting a box of Lincoln cents. 50 rolls for only $25, and you can have lots of fun searching through all those coins. In my experience, getting a box from the bank today in 2020, if you can get a box, only about 10 to 12 percent of that box is going to have coins before 1982, the copper cents, and you're probably going to be lucky to get 5 to 10 wheat cents from before 1959. And that's in an entire box of 2,500 coins. But we still do it. It's still lots of fun to hunt them. But wouldn't it be fun to search a box that hasn't been looked at in quite a while? Like, maybe if you knew for sure, you wouldn't even find any of the modern shield reverse since dated 2010 to date. Or what if you could get a box where you wouldn't even find any copper-plated zinc scents, which are dated 1983 to date? Well, that's exactly the opportunity that I have right now. Recently, through my local coin shop and my friend that works there, SoCal Box Breaks, we were able to obtain a hoard of Lincoln scent boxes from an estate in the Hollywood Hills here in the Los Angeles area of Southern California. This Hollywood hoard had over 100 boxes of Lincoln Cents acquired from Security Pacific National Bank about 40 years ago. There are date stamps on some of the boxes, and uh, most of these are from the late 1970s, a couple of them from the early 1980s. Security Pacific National Bank no longer exists and hasn't been around for decades. It was bought out by Bank of America in 1992. So why were these boxes saved and set aside for so many years? I mean, we can't really know that for sure, but it's possible the owners were long-term speculators in copper prices. Remember, in the late 1970s, copper prices had been increased enough to where the United States government was looking for alternate metals for the Lincoln cent. They did aluminum, uh, aluminum test strikes of Lincoln cents in, in 1974, and ultimately they changed to a copper-plated zinc cent in 1982. That's the composition that we still use today. Or it's possible this was the way the previous owners saved money. I got friends today that ask for a roll or two of quarters every time they go to the bank to cash their paycheck because they know they can't save money and they're much, like, they're much, they're much less likely to spend those quarters um, than, they, than if they were to have extra paper money in their pocket. Perhaps getting a box of cents from time to time was the way this family kept themselves from spending all their savings. Again, we really can't know. In any event, we've only just started going through this Hollywood hoard of Lincoln scent boxes, and it appears that many of the boxes contain uncirculated banked wrapped rolls of Lincoln scents. I'll grab one of the boxes. That's this box here, and this one does have a date stamp. It says April 4th, 1977, and none of the boxes are sealed up. You can open them up, and uh, this box here, appears to have just about all uncirculated rolls. And I'll just grab one of them. I'll just grab one of these at random. This is what the rolls look like. And on the end of this one here, looks like it's a 1976 Denver. And on the other end, it's a darker coin. Let's see if I can peel it back just enough to see the date. It looks like it's another 19... 76 Denver, just darker. So yeah, some of the rolls have faded to a red brown to a brown color, but this box, it looks like just about every roll is on Saturday. There might be one or two rolls where there's a circulated end. This one here, maybe. Let's take a look. Yeah, this one's a 1964 Denver on the end. So, but I would say at least 90% of those rolls are 1976D uncirculated. So that's one box here grab another box this box here on the side has a sticker on it that says 31678 so that's a little bit of a different date and on this one quickly look through these most of these appear to be circulated rolls although there are some rolls with bright red ends so if I just grab one like here it looks like it's a mix Let's look here. Like that there is a 1978D on the end. 
and the, again, with, with the with the March 1978 date, that's probably a solid roll of 1978 Ds. Most likely. We don't know for sure. There's another 78 DN. There's one. Um, there's one, is unless that's the roll I just grabbed. This looks like it, but there's a lot of darker scents that are obviously circulated. So it seems like this might be like about a 50-50 mix between uncirculated and circulated. Again, it's really hard to know for sure until you actually start popping the rolls open. But anyway, for the boxes of this Hollywood Horde that have circulated rolls, or mostly circulated rolls, I'm going to be hunting through these live on my channel. Um, I've already had offers from many people that have heard that we had these boxes, and they want to buy these from me right now, so they can hunt them on their own. And some of those offers have been pretty high, um, and although it's been temp tempting just to sell them, um, I don't think I can pass up the fun that I know I'm going to have looking through these coins, and I know that I can have fun um, and share some of that fun with the viewers here. What do you guys think, though? If you had these coins from this Hollywood hoard, would you hunt them yourself or just sell them right away for a quick buck to others that want to hunt them themselves? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, but anyway, look for the first hunt of one of these boxes on my channel here, which will be coming soon. I think it's going to be fun to kind of turn back the clock to see what sort of stuff we could get in one of these boxes of scents from the bank. About 40 years ago. This is what we would get if you went to the bank 40 years ago and grabbed a box of Lincoln Sense. So, what's great is we should find absolutely none of the modern copper plated zinc coins. And remember, at the time these boxes were uh, issued by the banks, Wheat Sense had only been discontinued about 20 years earlier. So, we should see more Wheat Sense than we would really find um, in the average circulated box today. And being that these boxes are from Southern California, I think we're probably a little more likely to find some of the San Francisco minted scents from uh, 1968 to 1974, which is a little bit of fun. Um, the boxes that are mostly uncirculated rolls, though, those are going to stay with my buddy uh, SoCal Box Breaks and the coin shop. So if you're interested in those coins at all, you're going to need to stay tuned to his channel. I don't know exactly what he's doing with them. Um, or feel free to reach out to him directly. Anyway, I'm excited to start searching through this Hollywood horde of Lincoln Sense, and I hope that you are excited as well. Um, I hope to see you in the live streams once we start hunting these, and um, stay tuned, and until then, take care.